Good to see you. Thanks to you, I'm right as rain again. Just look. Like this and this. I know you're always looking out for me. I guess that's just how it goes with us, huh? So, while I've been resting, I've had a lot of time to think. Once all this is over, I want to take that trip to America. See, my friends continued fighting for our beliefs, for a new dawn, even when I couldn't. That's how I know Japan will be all right without me. So I want to travel around America and see everything it has to offer. I think everything's pretty much settled down now. Well, <laughs> I, I thought so, but I suppose I was wrong. But still, I'm not worried about our future anymore. With you, Katsura, and Katsura around, I know our country is in good hands. Don't say that. You'll make it so much harder for me to leave. But I have to do this. I have to see what a truly new Japan might look like. The truth is... I'd love for you to be there with me. But we each have our own path to walk. And that's why we have to part ways, at least for now. But we'll be reunited one day. You're my counterpart, after all. I just have one last thing to ask you. Will you spar with me? Think about it. We've known each other all this time, but never once properly dueled. Also, I can't be walking around with a sword in America. <laughs> Let me put the samurai part of myself to rest, huh? Let's do it at the place where everything began. The place where we first met. The Magistrate's Estate in Yokohama. So how about it? Care to go around? Good answer. Let's go. Visibility is good today. The horizon is crystal clear. We walked all the way here, didn't we, when we first met? Feels like it was only yesterday. Right then. Don't hold back. Give me everything you've got. Let's see if I can handle it. Should maybe have rested up a little bit longer. You should know better than anyone, but I'm far from beaten. I don't 
even want this to end. You got me. Crossing swords with you really brings home how strong you are. Well, now that I fought the strongest warrior around, I can go with no regrets. This is the end of Yoma Sakamoto, the Japanese samurai. From now on, I'm Yoma Sakamoto, citizen of the world! Listen, I want you to have my sword. I'm forever in your debt for all you've done. Besides, it's not like I can carry it around with me in America. There's a saying they have over there. It's always darkest before the dawn. It might feel dark now, but I believe Japan's new dawn is close at hand. If we work together, I know we can iron out these last few problems. And once we do, I can head to America with my conscience clear and mind at ease. That's the spirit! Hey, that's a nice blade you got there. Any interest in working as a bodyguard? The shops around here have lately been the target of so-called expulsionists. Refuse to pay them a fee, and they'll mess up your place good. I'm starting to get worried about my own shop, so... What do you say? Would you help me guard my store? Oh, thank you. If you could start right away, that would be great. Though the ruffians probably won't be here till night. Enjoy my retirement. 
And occasionally, I'll slaughter some scum in my free time. You don't mind that, do you? Perhaps I'll tell you the whole story someday. But while you're here, there's something I wanted to say to you. It's about your decision to not take Lord E's life. Thank you for that. After being thrust from public life, he was cut down by an assassin. Still, I'm sure he remained strong till the end. Well, now that I've thanked you, tell me, what are you doing here in Edo? I see. So you want to be of use to the country my lord worked to protect. How about I lend you a hand? As much as it pains me. Is that sarcasm? Huh. Perhaps we are not so different after all. But I must look for a suitable place to stay. Come look for me if ever you need. Goodbye for now. Is it over? Please, I'd like to talk with you. You are amazing! Clearly, your blade isn't just for show. Thanks to you, I can continue my business in peace. You take care of yourself too. I really can't thank you enough. Hey! Ah, back, are we? We've been hard at work with Master Kano since you last saw us. Maybe this is a good chance to see how much we've improved. Care to spar a little? All the better. I certainly wasn't planning to. We're ready, whenever you are. We're going to take you down this time! Prepare yourself! Is it over yet? Come on! As a martial artist, I can't simply sit back and watch. This is no more than we expected. Yeah! Huh. 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 Huh
finally, an opportunity to test my limit. Damn it. I can't believe we still aren't a match for you. You're very strong to think out loose again. <laughs> well, at least we put up more of a fight this time. Eh, hey, Ito? Right. We don't have time to dwell on our losses anyway. Not if we've got the betterment of this nation to worry about. Thank you, Master Kano, for all you've done for us. We've made an excellent headway, thanks to you. I admit I was rather skeptical of your capacity for improvement at first, but seeing how much you've grown, you've more than earned my respect. It makes me want to develop a form of combat focused on non-lethal self-defense. A discipline that allows practitioners to take measure of each other's skill. Through training, my students will learn a new way to live. A gentle way. Or judo, so to speak. Quite the great man, isn't he? What do you make of this? I think it sounds like a splendid idea. Perhaps... Spreading Judo's principles, far and wide, will cultivate the peace we are all in search of. And we'll do our part to form a government that will help make that peace a reality. Great! Let's aim for nothing less! It's you. Have you heard from Katsu? Ijikata is intent on getting back at the Satsuma Choshu Alliance for what was done to Kondo. The fool is beyond listening to reason. In fact, he's even gone so far as to drive us all out from the outpost. Katsu mentioned something about Sato willing to help. However... It appears Lord Katamori has called him away. This is when Katsu is trying to prevent an all-out battle for Edo. Should the Shinsengumi wage war, I fear that all his efforts will have been wasted. We may have to stop them by force, but they're already stocking up on heavy artillery. Getting involved now would surely result in retaliation. That said, with your help, we might stand a chance. I beg of you, talk to Hijikata. I'm counting on you. Be sure to tread carefully.
You have to go through me first!
Ricochet. Back down now. I warn you not to get in the way. Ichigasa, please. You know, I grieve for Kondo as well. You couldn't possibly understand how it feels. I am to die here today. You hear me? Kondo wanted us to live, Hijigata. You mustn't forget the mission he entrusted to us on that day. <clears throat> hey. 
He asked us to become samurai for a new age. If we are to die here like dogs, will the true meaning of his words be lost forever? I think we should look for the answer to that question together, Hijikata. Besides, you can always die later. Yes. It seems I need to calm my mind. We won't start a fight for selfish reasons. That is my promise as the vice captain of the Shinsengumi. I shall now go and calm my troops. They must be pretty worked up. But remember, all of us fully intend to fight and die like true samurai. So the next time we fight, it will be to the death. Until then, if you have any business to discuss with us, we will receive you here. Hey, how have you been? Hello. Did you come to train today? Because of Ryoma? Thank you for your concern. That's very thoughtful of you. Frankly, it all feels like a terrible dream. Ever since I heard the news, I've just been... But then Ryoma was willing to lay down his life for the sake of this country. Such was the extent of his ambition. I wonder, could I ever be like that? Could I ever have a similar sense of purpose? Hello. Sorry to interrupt, but I was told I could find you here. I would like to employ your services as a bodyguard. My client is a noble lady who is well known to you. If I may, I have something to ask. I'd like to assist with this mission. A larger detail means better security, right? Besides, I am a trained professional. I'm not just along for the ride. I don't mind if they don't mind. Only you must not speak a word of this matter to anyone. Of course I'm ready. Well, I suppose that settles things. I'll go on ahead. We can meet by Edo Castle. We should probably get a move on. What do you say? Shall we head for Edo Castle? All right then, let's stay sharp. Our destination is the inner chamber of Edo Castle. Outside of my lady and her maidservants, only a trusted few are admitted entrance. I'll lead the way. You follow. Good to go? Then let's go. As for you, no falling behind, all right? R right
The individual we are to protect works to broker peace between the Shogunate and its rivals. But many of the Shogun's vassals would prefer discord. <sighs> Speak of the devil. Oi! What are you doing there? If you mean ill, you'd best prepare yourself. We need her ladyship to behave herself. Can you get in the way? I'll show no mercy. <laughs> I should expect as much from a friend of Ryoma. I'm sure you two have covered each other's back like this countless times, right? Good work. I am certain I shall be safe in your hands. <laughs> and you are no slouch either. Please. Accept my gratitude. I'm glad that we could be of service to you. The key is reading your opponent's movements. My uncle taught me that. You see, I have a mission that needs accomplishing. That said, I unfortunately don't have what it takes to defend myself. What an awful world we live in. To defend myself? Uh... I'd like to request a rematch. What do you say? I feel like it will clear up some things for me. Questions I've had on my mind for a while now? Anyways, stop by the dojo after you are finished here. I'll be waiting for you. Sorry about what happened, Daria. But I really do want a rematch with you. Ever since the incident with Yoma, I've been thinking about his ambitions and everything he is capable of. And how small my own dreams must appear in comparison. Perhaps you're right. But still... I can't stop thinking about it. Anyways, hearing the princess talk, I felt a spark inside of me. A sense of what I want to do with my life, or what I ought to be doing. I'd like to explore this father. Will you help me do that? Thank you. I had a feeling you'd understand. Don't go easy on me now. I want you to give me all you've got. I won't hold back either. Now, let's have it. Are you prepared? <gasps> ah! <gasps> ah! Ha! Formidable as ever. I'm not beaten yet. Yeah! 
everything I have. again. It's strange, but I feel oddly refreshed. You know, ever since our visit to Yoshiwara, I've come to realize something. The reason Ryoma stopped showing up at the dojo. For him, swordplay isn't everything in life. It's simply a means to bettering society, not an end in itself. Meanwhile, Look at me, in my own world, training obsessively. It's no wonder his feelings changed. No. My admiration for him has not wavered. I'd like to be the kind of person who can carry out another's dream. Even a small part of it, like you. I suppose. Besides, I think I found my purpose. I'd like to teach women the art of self-defense. After all, the dangers I've encountered recently can be found around any corner. I wish I could help build a society free from such dangers in the first place. But perhaps that's a dream for later. Thank you. Your words give me strength. Now that I've found my purpose, I beg you to look out for me. Say, how about we start training together? Sparring with someone who lacks a definite style is sure to push me to new heights. Besides, I feel like I might discover another side of myself. I only hope we can continue to spend time together. Saigo has sent word back that he's ready to negotiate. In truth, I already had high hopes. But you've still outdone yourself. Princess Atsuko, Saigo, and I, we could never have achieved this, no matter how hard we tried. The fact that we've been able to come this far is all down to the bonds that you have forged. Ah, a little dig at me now, huh? Well, I apologize for the mess I dragged you into. But there's no harm in embracing life's chance encounters. True, maintaining bonds can be tough, but it's worth it in the end. 
I want to settle things between the Shogunate and the new administration. We need less fighting and more talking. It won't be easy. But what choice is there? But I fear the Demon Claw Samurai is bound to intervene. That's why I want you there. To end this once and for all. Right. It's do or die for the both of us tonight. By the way, some of your acquaintances are hoping for a word with you. The negotiations with Psycho aren't set to begin just yet. I'm sure you have much to discuss, so I'll leave you be. Ah, it's you. Looks like it's time for you to finally settle the score with your partner. When it came down to it with me and his own, it was kill or be killed. But I don't want things to go the same way for you. Finish your business and come back alive. Got that, counterpart? I know you can do it. I have absolute faith in you. Ah, hello. Katsu will go down in history for all he has achieved, I am sure. Truly, one's status and birth need not hinder one's potential. If we all had his capacity to make our dreams a reality, this country would be transformed. Don't you think? Imagine if we could all emulate his example. But I do not see why this should remain but a dream. No, I will make it so myself. Till next time. What a coincidence. Orders have come from the homeland to withdraw from Japan. But I'm of no mind to live. I have found a way forward. After encountering the Shinsengumi, we formed the Dragon Corps, the battalion of my dreams. We'll depart soon and work to become the Samurai of the New Age. I trust you will follow your own path. Farewell. Perhaps we'll meet again soon. Oh. Please, tell me the truth. Why are you planning to go after this? Ah, apologies. That was a little intrusive of me. I just can't bear the thought of you meeting the same fate as dear Ryoma. I don't know what it is you're trying to accomplish, but all I ask is that you return safe and sound from the endeavor. Over here. We meet again. Hey. Oh, good to see you safe and sound. I thought I should catch up with you while I was checking on things in Edo. I have always chosen what I believe to be the best course. But I know many men have lost their lives because of my choices. I want to help make a world where all can see their deaths were not in vain. I need you to know that. with everyone you wanted. When you're ready, head to the Satsuma base. 
No need to be so stiff. It's the difficult things that end up the most interesting. Never be so uptight, you can't enjoy the moment. Right then, let's go. This is no time for games or evasions. Let us be straight with each other. Naturally, I came with the same intention. So let us talk. First, the new administration's requests. Determined to interfere! I know you better than anyone! You've always been too soft. to make a world where we could live together. Thank <laughs> you. 
If you turn Edo into a sea of flames, that family will be torn asunder. You'll become just like the people we hated. My only goal in life was to create a nation where we could thrive. And you're telling me to just give up. Why not? It's a new dawn for Japan. It could be for you, too. No. My wish to leave this land. I'll watch things unfold from some far-off place. Even if we're apart, still we are one. Separately formidable. Together unstoppable. Blade twins are forever tied together by the bonds of fate. The age of the samurai draws to a close. But the samurai spirit lives on, and new horizons await. Following the talks between Kaishu Katsu and Takamori Saigo, the shogunate forces surrender Edo Castle. With that, those who dreamed of a new dawn for Japan succeed in avoiding full-blown war in Edo, saving countless lives. <laughs>